We're back at it. Jim's here working on the mill. He's decided to remake one of his drill jigs. I think he broke a bit off in the other one. Just wasn't working, so we switched to a different material. This one is brass. Aluminum wasn't gonna work. Mild steel wasn't working. I think I'm gonna start my day sanding back the uh, Grimace snare. This is the second coat of sanding sealer. And after this, we're looking at like nine coats of varnish. I think nine's a bit excessive, but that's not my area of expertise. So. It seems like a really easy prey. Yeah, right? It doesn't move, it doesn't attack. Oh, and some people would use pigs. Oh yeah. To sniff them out. Where I'm from, mushroom hunting means something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Jim knows what I'm talking about. I overestimated. I expected it to be a lot more than that. For those wondering, we'd like to batch these out, but we have to do them one at a time because none of the shells are really standardized. They'd be close, but. They, like, yeah, they're all made in like the same molds and stuff. It's just that wood is a natural material and it moves and it goes where it wants. And they're all almost the same, but not actually the same. So can't just come all at once. Two for two on the launch sequence. <laughs> Close. I almost stood right there. Almost. You made quick work of this, Jim. You bet. And it was perfect. They were the um, remember they were they were a little off last time. One off, and then yeah. you signed it. You signed your work. But. Uh, <laughs> This time they came out perfect. They're yeah, just dead, that looks dead nuts. Every one of them is dead nuts. This thing counts really nicely. Yeah, I, I'm really liking it. I, that was the only thing I was a little nervous about. But boy, it's nice so far. Masking drums sucks. It's got to be an easier way. Got to be some kind of material you could use as a uh, reusable liner or something. Something that just kind of unrolls itself and you just easily tape it. It's paper. Paper's a pain in the butt. There we go.
This is way better than the Anchor Jig. Sometimes you just gotta make a dedicated little thing. Yeah, dude. Really good idea. Welding is a funny thing, because I know I shouldn't look at it, but every particle of my being wants to look at it. I know, right? <laughs> I tell you what, that one time I got flash burn pretty much uh, did a lot for alleviating my desire to look at the arc, because holy crap, flash burn sucks. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I didn't realize we were powder coating black. I thought we were going clear. No, it's getting um, galaxy metallic, but in order to do it, it's a, it's a two-step process. So you got to start with black and then you do this like really weird metallic clear coat over it. It's got like blue and purple and green uh, metal flake. It's really cool. So the, the result is like purpley bluish black, but with like uh, different color metallic flake. It looks really cool. Um, but in order to do it, you gotta start with black. A little bit of a shame because the color, I mean, the bronze in these hoops actually like, look really nice. Yeah, the bronze looks sweet. So, I mean, why'd he go with bronze then? Just because he wanted the weight? He wanted the material. And this is why we have the pizza oven. You know it. I think we need another one for actually making pizza. <laughs> I know, you definitely don't want to eat pizza out of that thing now. Call it uh, 14 minutes, I think. Here we go. So Dumbledore over here has this white powder that he says is going to bake out as a galaxy purple. So we'll see what happens. It doesn't adhere as well, so you can't 
Like if you do it from too close, then you're just blowing the powder off, you know? If I do it from farther back, which makes it adhere a lot better, but then I just spray fucking powder everywhere. Which might be because I don't know what I'm doing. Or it might be because that's just the way it is. I do not know. Believe it or not, I've actually read books about this. I just don't have an answer to that question. Books about blowing powder everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. So like Motley Crue the dirt. <laughs> so I got those two hoops sanded out to 220. Got some uh, wood putty in the little voids. Let that dry out a bit. Then we'll hit it with 320. First round of dye on the shell is a little more red than desired. And whoever sanded this missed a nice big glue line, so amateur. Huh. I was skeptic. Skeptical? I was skeptical. It's dope, dude. Yeah, that looks so good. Get a better look once it cools down. I am not having a good time with this drum. I got after what we think is this glue line with 320 and basically am back to natural shell. And I can still see it, but it's a little gummy here. It's clogging up my paper. So I gotta wait for this to dry out. I'm gonna step up to 220, see if I can get rid of it. But I'm gonna still have to keep working at sanding this shell back. It sucks. In other news, depending on how you catch this thing in the light, it looks purple or blue or a mix of both. We're currently under an LED shop light. I think it's a 500 Kelvin. So it looks a bit different under the uh, older shop lights, fluorescent. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, the day started out pretty good. Then I ran into that cluster F of a snare with the glue line and had to sand it all back. And then Billy Bubs here spilt a uh, bag of lacquer. So <laughs> when stuff like that happens, it's usually good to just call it. Yeah, yeah, about the time, about the time I, I dropped a half full cup of varnish, I figured it was probably, it's probably about time to call it a day. Yep, but hey, we got the, the galaxy purple Hoops, those look sweet. Those look awesome. Those look sweet. This drum is gonna be cool too. I mean, it's just one glue line. We needed multiple passes of dye anyway. It's it's not that bad. It's, it's just disheartening. Yeah, it's, it's annoying, but like it's not, you know, we'll get that one. We'll get it done. Uh, yeah. It's like Jim says, another day of parallel progress, but nothing resolved. <laughs> yes, that is very accurate. Yeah, well, get them next time. Yep.